the PFA player, the Young Youth Player of the Year last week, uh, player of the match in an FA Cup final this week. Have you had much better few days than that? Definitely not. Um, it's been a week to remember, and obviously today to be able to share it with my friends and family is one of the best days. Um, obviously, I'm sure you've envisaged uh, scoring in a cup final. What would you feel like if it went like before? Um, when that ball went in, I mean, did it feel like what you thought it would in your head? Um, even better. I think you can never imagine what it's going to be like because it's, it's ten times better in real life and obviously when the ball hit the back of the net I was just thrilled and obviously to say that you scored at Wembley it's not many people can say that so I'm grateful for that. And what was it like the feeling at the end of the mate game obviously because you had to come through a really difficult cup final? Um, I don't think it was a feeling of relief I think we just needed to hit second gear in the second half and I think that's what we did we upped our performance and, and we reached what we are capable of and obviously you can see in the second half we scored three goals and, and it was much more open so I think that's just who we are as a club and we'll fight to the end. Um, given obviously the successes you've had in these last few weeks, um, is there anything more you think you could have done than put yourself in a position to try and get in that World Cup squad next week? Um, I don't think there's much more I could have done. Um, and we'll just see whatever happens in that squad happens. And I'll be looking forward to, to seeing who's going and I'll be supporting the girls if I'm not there and, and vice versa. And if I am, um, unbelievable opportunity for myself and, and obviously a great experience. More than obviously for it to happen today and we lift the trophy, it's just extra special. And we all saw the tweet shared earlier today, six years on from getting a seven with Steph. Can you, what do you remember of that day and did you ever really imagine that you'd be here scoring in the final yourself? Um, I don't think I've ever imagined it because some things you don't actually think are possible um, but today I've just gone that one better and, and achieved dreams that go beyond uh, people's imagination but I think on behalf of that picture I think that just proves how important role models are and I've always looked up to Steph and, and obviously for her to walk out and lead the team today is, is an unbelievable. Do you remember that one vividly, that, that final and that moment of seeing her as with a selfie, what was that like? Um, it was unbelievable, I remember queuing for a good half hour to get a picture with her um, but she's one of my best mates now so she'll give me stick for how my hair looked. Georgia, so obviously we visited last week in the City, we had a little bit of shooting practice in the challenge, won't reveal what happened, <laughs> do you think that helped towards that decent little goal that he scored today? Yeah definitely <laughs> and obviously that day was about inspiring the next generation and hopefully today we've done that as well and obviously 42,000 people are here and hopefully we can match that going into the summer um, but I think it just shows how the women's game's growing and, and obviously for it to be televised as well. You, you mentioned that um, Steph was your role model. There were loads of girls here today. Do you think you're a role model for them? Yeah, definitely. I think sometimes you kind of get caught up in the bubble of training, match it, matches, wanting to do your best, and you kind of forget what's on the outside. Um, but I think today it makes it worthwhile the fact that they're screaming your name or they're screaming, like, they're supporting you. Um, and I think it just makes it so much worthwhile. And hopefully, a game like that, and if we inspire 10 girls, then we've done our job. But hopefully, a day like that can inspire thousands. Season awards last week. Big announcement this week coming up with the England squads. How do you feel now going into the summer? Um, it's been definitely a week that I won't forget. Um, going into the summer, I've just kind of got the mentality that whatever happens, happens now. And I've done what I can. Um, I've tried to put myself in the best possible position. But if it doesn't come, then I'm still young and I've got plenty of years ahead of me. Georgia, you said last week at the uh, PFA Awards that Alan Shearer was your hero growing up. Is that a little bit of Shearer out there at Wembley today? <laughs> you must have seen him score a few You can times. tell him that if you want to. <laughs> <laughs> no, he's always been my idol. and. I've always been a Newcastle fan. He's a prolific goal scorer and I'm trying to match that. And today, <laughs> I scored. So To score at Wembley in, in a cup final is obviously a special moment. Yeah, definitely. Definitely. I'll definitely won't forget today. Mm -hmm.